Okay, I got to go off the cuff a little bit. Um, oh, because a game popped in my head on the on the spot. Yeah, so you guys know, as if you haven't picked it up by now, I'm a big Sega fanboy. Um, so I have to. No. Uh, yeah, <laughs> go figure. <laughs> but we talked about Sega being original and with their games. How could we forget Jet Set Radio? Oh, wow. Jet Set Radio is probably one of the most original games Sega did outside of Sonic. Really? And, yo, Jet Set Radio. Jet Set Radio was so freaking great. Also, Crazy Taxi. There was nothing like it, that before then. We did get Crazy Taxi. But Jet Set's more original than Crazy Taxi, I would say, for sure. But, that, oh, I mean, yeah. both of those, like, oh, my God, man. Why? Why? How did we miss Jet Set Radio? Or Jet we have two of them. Jet Grind Radio was technically the OG. Jet Set was the second one. Yeah, we had one for the for the Dreamcast, and then we got the sequel on Xbox. Yep. So yeah, supposedly man. Sega's making a new Crazy Taxi and a new Jet Set. Oh, uh, so man, we'll see. But they're 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 trying to like I think it's going to be like a free to play game because they want it. They said they want it to be like as big as Fortnite. I'm like, what do you guys mm-hmm. do? Just make another one and sell it. Stop. You don't have to be like Fortnite. <laughs> Just make a game and sell it. Well, for those who don't know, do you want to explain Jet Set Radio? So you are a roller blading graffiti uh, artist that's tagging up the city. Yeah. And then <laughs> and then you had r- rival gangs. R- yeah, there's, there's rival gangs. You're trying to tag different areas. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. So you had to pick up extra paint cans because right. you had like a meter for your how much paint you had. How much pa- yep, and you had to go and spray paint your your or tag certain things and leave your your mark uh, and cover up. I guess the rival gangs graffiti and traversal was a huge part of this game because you're on rollerblades, so it's kind of, it was kind of like Tony Hawk esque where you're like grinding on rails and stuff, and you know you're you're you know. Speeding through the environment, you know, getting to different locations and tagging them. It was a lot of fun. It was very. It was there, was nothing, there was nothing like it. Nothing like original, it. original, and it came from Sega. Look at that original. <laughs> Damn, I'm glad you pulled that one out, man. That's. I did. I did. Man, we didn't forget that. Just want to go back and play it now. Good times, man. Everybody <laughs> comes in. Everybody comes in the store looking for it. Even when uh, they were giving it free with the Microsoft. With the Xbox, it was uh, you had Jet Set cool and pack. Jet Set was and Sega GT, wasn't that? Se- it? Was it Sega GT? Yeah, I think yeah. So. Can't find them. Everybody comes in looking for Jet Set, don't have it or Jet Grind. Yeah, that's the one I have. I have the the dual pack. I, I want to say it was Sega GT. You mm-hmm. know, the one that nobody played, and then Jet Set. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that, that game was supposed to be a half decent racing game, but I I don't know. I think that was the other side. If not. If not, Sega GT is certainly on one of those dual discs somewhere else. But I think it, it is. It is. But I, yeah, I really want to say it was Sega GT and Jet Set. So yeah. Now but back to the list. <laughs> back to the list that we made. Uh, this is a game I played a ton. Wes probably plays it in secret, and that's Dance Dance Revolution. <laughs> and that game was so epic at the time. There was, I mean, there might have been some stuff like it in Japan, but like when hit, this hit the U.S., there was nothing like it, dude. It was in every arcade. Obviously, it got ported over to home consoles. It started out on the original PlayStation. That's where the first Dance Dance came out on. And it was huge, man. Like, whether you had a dance pad in your house or, you know, the full-on mm-hmm. arcade. You're not really cabinet. I don't know. what they were Like, dance floors? I don't know what the hell you would call them. <laughs> but you basically just move your legs and touch arrows to the beat of the music. That's all you got to mm-hmm. do. But then you get, like, you know, obviously faster songs, faster beats. You got to go a lot faster. And it gets super intense. Man, I I just w- remember watching people play it in the arcade, and they were doing like flips and spins and. Oh yo. man, <laughs> I was never I was never that good, not even close. But watching somebody be really good at it is impressive. They, when they turn around and don't look at the screen, and their back is facing the screen, and they're just nailing mm-hmm. it. It's like how the he- what the hell is happening? <laughs> Plus, they're playing it backwards. If you're not paying attention, like their feet are in the wrong direction, they're still playing the yeah. game correctly which is i I can't remember (laughs) what i did yesterday let alone memorizing something backwards (laughs) man 
dance dance they there were so many dance 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 games it was uh that was huge that was huge i mean there there was a i guess a rival company put out pump it up which was very very similar it had different licensed music on it um yeah. i had it for xbox my kids would always play it and i'd watch them play uh but it was it couldn't compete with like dance dance revolution no nah, man they even nintendo even partnered with them and they made dance dance revolution mario mix on the nintendo gamecube oh yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> and they're still making dance dance games yeah man now now i think they just use like well i know just dance like you hold a cell phone in your hand to play the game and i, I don't know if dance yeah. dance is doing the same thing but you gotta get the pad man you gotta get the pad get out of here with your cell phones and your nonsense <laughs> If you're gonna play dance dance, you you gotta do the pad. It's the only oh, way yeah. to play it. That's right. The only way to play it. One day I'm gonna bust that out too. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell anybody or say it though. It be happen. You guys don't know when. <laughs> watch for, watch for the video, guys. <laughs> <laughs> now then we this, got. Go yeah, ahead. this is this is this was one of your your favorites. It's it, the character itself. I should say is, is one of your favorite characters. Um, the game itself was on the Dreamcast. Granted, the game itself is an original, but no, it's the not. Con- the content found in the game is what allowed us to put this on the list, and that game is Sonic Adventure for the Dreamcast. That's right. Now, this was the first Dreamcast game I had. I had to have a day one. This, I mean, this was why I bought a Dreamcast. I got Sonic Adventure. I got my VMU. And on your VMU, you got these little chows inside the game that you could keep inside the VMU, just mm-hmm. like a Tamagotchi, which we mentioned earlier. And you could take care of it on the VMU. You could play like you know, little games on the VMU. So the VMU is a huge part of that. But those chows were in Sonic Adventure. Mm-hmm. Also, this was the first 3D Sonic game. So those two things combining... Well, I know, actually, there was one on Sega that was like... They said it was 3D, but it was like an isometric view. Do you remember that game? I remember, yeah. Sonic, I want to say Sonic Blast. Yeah, no. Sonic Sonic 3D Blast. That's 3D what it was. Blast, yep. That wasn't 3D, guys. I'm sorry. It was like so just a different <laughs> camera angle. Three-quarter view. On NES. It wasn't 3D. <laughs> but Sonic Adventure was. And so that the, for that reason, for, you know, the Chows, and of course, everybody's favorite, Big the Cat. <laughs> terrible character you know i think i want to go and play sonic adventure all over again i just downloaded it on my xbox because they have you know they have like the uh they have like all those old sonic games on xbox and mm. it was like i think it was two dollars and fifty cents for the first sonic adventure okay so if you want an easy way to play it and not have to dig out you know dreamcast or anything now the next up this was one of your picks uh this game so the, the first game on this list there's two here. We got them for here for similar reasons. I I want to say I played the second game on here. I did not play the first game, or maybe I played it for a little bit and I sucked at it, mm-hmm. but it was Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, and Blinks. Now, why do we have these together? <laughs> oh, man. San- Prince of Persia. Okay, the, the, the IP, Prince of Persia itself, has been around forever. NES, right? Uh, That's when it started? It, it was computer... Sega CD, you know, NES, it, it's been around. It was just a side-scrolling puzzle solver type of game, avoid the traps. But then it they brought it up to modern times and put 3D graphics in it, and we got Sands of Time. And the reason Sands of Time is on here is because it utilized Rewind, I want right. to say for the first time, which was original for the time period. Now, this and came out during the PS2 era, correct? Like PS2, P- GameCube, Xbox? PS2, GameCube, Xbox. Yep. And so you not only did it include like a lot of procure, so or procure, and it had like, you know, wall running and stuff like that. If you missed a jump, and as long as you had sand, you can rewind several seconds to redo that. There you go. And that. And that's why it was original, because we were like, wait, what are we doing? And Blinks came out, I, I can't remember if it came out around the same time, but Blinks, the time sweeper for Xbox, also used 
the rewind feature, but it, I think it took it a step further because it really utilized the Xbox's built-in hard drive to yeah. do a couple different other things. Yeah, definitely. They definitely relied on the hard drive for the rewind feature and Blinks. I remember seeing Blinks all over the place. Like Xbox definitely was pushing that at the time. I mean, it must have sold okay because they made a sequel to that game, which is astounding. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, go back and look Blinks. Like Blinks is kind of like a joke for like people who know about Xbox now. It's like, oh yeah, Blinks. They're gonna bring, bring back Blinks, but. I would play Blinks. I, li- I like uh, platformers. You know, I like the mm-hmm. puzzle aspect and rewinding time is cool. So I would play Blinks, man. I don't know why everybody gives them a hard time. Yeah, I know. Hey, look, if they brought Bubsy back, <laughs> they could bring Blinks back. Oh, they brought Bubsy back. It did not turn out well. It was uh, <laughs> it was probably worse than the original. <laughs> I like the original Bubsy. But, uh, I like the original Bubsy too. But a- after that, it- it's all downhill. Oh, yeah. They should have left that thing in the, the graveyard it was buried in long ago. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got an old school one to end things off with. I mean, this has to be on here just because there's many different versions. You know, th- this came out all over the place for all different things, but it really brought video games to a whole other level of popularity. Uh, and that is Pong. Just Pong. Just Pong. That's right. That was it, man. Two little bars and a dot that was a, a square. A square. <laughs> a square ball. That, that was it. That And that was the craze. I remember growing up, going over some friend's house, some friends of the family, and, you know, they had this, you know, big floor model television, and, and they had uh, a Pong set up. And we played for hours. You know, kids, the adults, you know, my parents, we were all, we were all playing Pong. That's right. And I wonder, I, I, I st- I, maybe I can look it up and try to find it for you guys. I don't know where Pong like originated from, but everybody ripped off Pong. Like there was just Pong for like, you know, every, like they would just make Pong, Pong systems for like your TV. Mm-hmm. And that, but there, there was like, I don't know if there was just like no copyright law or anything. Like everybody made their version of Pong. I, I guess, I guess it might've been like baseball. You know what I mean? Like anybody could just make a baseball game. It might not have the MLB license, but. That's how it was with Pong. There was like tons of versions of Pong out there. But it really, you know, it really was the first game that like got games like noticed like for home consoles. It was it was, it was original. It was and that's why I made the list. It's like wow. It's something so simple. It's simple turned but fun. In, turned into a phenomenon. I mean, and then we had spin-offs, your know, variations like Breakout and stuff like that, but they all they all stem from Pong. Yeah, uh, Breakout. I love that. Breakout's awesome. Those brick breaking games are lots of fun. <laughs>